The fact of the matter is, you women, honestly, you need to be honestly, legitimately, this is real talk here, you need to get down on your hands and your knees and you need to be kissing my fucking ass. That's what you need to be doing. Yo, what's up guys? Be sure to smash that like button. Nah, I'm just kidding. What's up, Demon Family? It's me, the real Slim Shady in the house with my first video of 2024. Fuck yeah, celebration time. Where are the fucking fireworks? You're not the real Slim Shady, because you didn't stand up. <laughs> Everybody, I'd like you to meet Johnny. Say hi, Johnny. Nice to make your acquaintance. You can just call me doctor if you wish. Doctor, trained assassin, bodyguard, and best friend. Yeah, she's already thought of 11 different ways of killing you. 13, actually, if you count on conventional methods of murder. <laughs> oh, Johnny, you're the most wonderful servant of Satan I could ever ask for. Anyways, uh, you all know why you're here today. It's time for me to riff on some YouTube video I found on the internet recently and rip into it for a good laugh. You were kind of vague on what we were going to watch today. Please provide me with details. I could do that, but I find this video to be... It's better to just watch it first, because words can't describe the hilarity and amusement you can get from going in blind. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Never. I've never been like that. Nobody is going to do that to me, especially not you women out here. Nobody is going to do that. And it's about time some of you motherfucking weak ass fucking guys, you sorry excuses for men, you sorry excuses for human beings. It's about time that you do the same. <laughs> Yo, who's that? Is that the cousin of Fat Albert? I doubt it, because he isn't all that funny so far. Unfortunately, you're right. Uh, no, this Reddit moderator is uh, Mr. Wrestling Otaku. This guy actually blew up about a year ago when he made a really bad video about his uh, dating preferences with women. A ton of people have covered that video already, so it would feel cheap to just do that again. But what if I told you this video that I found was even worse. Ah, uh, now I piqued your interest, huh? But I want to go ahead and do this video because I felt the need to do this video because as you guys know, whenever I feel the need to speak on something, whenever I feel the need to talk about something, I'm right on here and I'm here to say what is on my mind and I don't care what anybody says because I will not be silenced, I will not be canceled, and yours truly tells it like it is and you know that for a fact if you've been watching this channel long enough, so. I notice he's very defensive right off the bat. I sincerely doubt there's this large group of people wanting to suppress your opinion, sir. People who get this immediately apprehensive are more often than not people with a very stupid opinion that are too stubborn to ever change and for some reason are very insecure about it so they have to victimize themselves as some kind of truth-telling paragon god among men who the world just wants to suppress. Isn't that the exact same logic and tactics used by flat earthers and cult members? Yeah, exactly. But hey, he hasn't really said much yet, I guess. Uh, uh, let's see what kind of truth the world doesn't want to hear. In our culture, in our fucking economy in general, specifically here in the United States, but really all across the globe, in terms of the internet community, no matter where it may be, and just society in general, I have noticed and I have witnessed one thing, and that is the fact that you women, women of this generation, have not changed. It is 2023, and you all are still trash. Women? As in, like, all women? Who exactly are you talking about? You're telling me you have resentment towards half the world population. I think you should be more specific about who you're talking about. Oh, why do I get the feeling he got dumped over text and this is what drove him to hate the entire female population? It's always something like that with people like this. It's always one girl slighted me and now all women are trash. I, I'm hoping for the best, but expecting the worst. You're still trash. You're still garbage. You're still as overbearing as you always have been. You're still as conceited as you have been, as superficial and as judgmental as you always have been. You're still as arrogant as you always have been. And this is the sort of shit that I've talked about in years past, in the videos past, and then I get flack for it, I get ridiculed for it. For what? For speaking the truth. 
My man, you're going to have to speak in less glittering generalities if you want me to understand you. As far as I know, you're talking about half the population of the world here. And you want me to believe that none of those women have changed in her trash in some completely nebulous and non-specific sense? I find that frankly absurd in my professional opinion. <laughs> oh man, this dude got dumped hard. He's down bad. He did not he did not take it well. Holy shit. You can feel the bitterness radiating off of this video. Well, hopefully he actually makes a valid point sooner or later. Uh, my hope is falling off a cliff at this point though. Women haven't changed one bit. You're still the same sour fucking bitches you always have been. And it's a damn shame that our society, that our world as a whole, especially here on the internet, perpetuates this bullshit and passes this narrative and enables this shit. And it's really ridiculous, man. Like, it's, it's fucking like, you, you broads don't change at all. Nothing about you, nothing about any of you has changed. You're still as fucking stuck up as you always have been. You never fucking learn. You never do. It's the same old shit. And then when I call this stuff out, I get called all kinds of names. I get people coming at me, coming at my my fucking throat for what for just calling stuff out like I see it. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me, man. I love people who talk like this. I speak my mind and people are mad at me. I must be telling the truth, bro. That's all I do. Hmm. People get mad at you, do they? I can't imagine why. Yeah, why would any woman ever be upset with you? I mean, you only called all of them stuck up bitches who never learn. Who could possibly be upset by that? I would bet you money. <laughs> I would bet you money that if a girl were to make the exact same video calling all men trash, this dude would be the first person to be like, um, excuse me, I find this generality disgusting. Not all men are trash, you feminazi, how dare you? I feel my brain cells jumping off a bridge one by one. You and me both. Please, Mr. Moderator for r slash I wear aviators indoors, please continue on here and preach all your hate-filled fucking you know heavy you know ultra feminist fem nazi fucking rhetoric all your hate all your hate-filled feminist agenda all that shit on social media i see all the sorts of i see all of you fucking spewing that shit all that garbage on every social media site out there talking about men ain't shit oh they're worthless oh they ain't this they ain't that the world would be better off without men in it and all that kind of stupid shit and they're allowed to spew all that kind of hateful bullshit and that's okay but if i if somebody like me or others you know call people out in their bullshit all you know just kind of funny you say that you really think you like really think that these women don't get hate for the shit that they say is this your first day on the internet people will hate you no matter what opinion you have bro the hatred you get i guarantee you is equal if not more to everybody you just criticized there are more anti-SJW channels than you can shake a stick at the shit you say is practically par for the course on youtube I must also point out that it's incredibly hypocritical for him of all people to complain about women who hate men when functionally that's exactly what he's doing towards women. It makes your complaining come off as hollow and bitter. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. And that's okay, but if I, if somebody like me or others, you know, call people out in their bullshit, all, you know, just call out the double standard in the society when it comes to these women today, oh, I'm a sexist, I'm misogynistic, fuck out of here. Fuck out of here with that hypocrite bullshit. Fuck out of here with that double standard bullshit. Um, excuse me, sir. Um, if I can make some corrections. I don't think you're a sexist because you complain about women who hate men. You're a sexist probably because you called all women trash in the title of your video. This is like if you spit in someone's face and they proceeded to kick your ass, but then you're like, dude, what the fuck, man? You're so, people are so fucking violent nowadays. I didn't even do anything that bad. Oh my God. Motherfucker, don't dish it if you can't take it. You clearly can't take it. So don't dish it. It's really that simple. 
It's like nobody calls this shit out. Well, quite frankly, more people need to call it out because more awareness needs to be brought to this. More awareness needs to be brought to what these cunts are fucking doing. More awareness needs to be brought to what these women are doing. They're manipulating the fucking system, dude. And it's a fucking goddamn crying shame. You know, it's a damn shame. You sit around here and you prance around, you prance your little cute asses around on social media, taking all sorts of pics of yourself, videos, selfies of yourself, talking about, oh, look at how, look at me, look at how cute I am, look at how beautiful, sexy I am, look how hot I am. And you prance that shit around and you post all sorts of shit on social media and all these overly sexual fucking you know, outfits and shit that you'd be wearing and all that shit. And then when fucking guys come on to you, you act like you're fucking offended by it. I'm like, oh, oh, no, these guys are bothering me. I can't find a good man and all that stupid shit. With all due respect, what the fuck are you talking about? Do tell, uh, what system are they exploiting exactly? What exactly is your problem with women who take a lot of selfies? Better question, better question. Why do you think all these women somehow believe the same thing? Because clearly you're bringing both of them up as if they're related, but you've shown no correlation whatsoever between these two broad groups of people. He's, he's just rambling incoherently at this point. I'm not even convinced he knows what he's talking about at this point. I really, I have a burning question. What girl dumped him so harshly that he has this much rage just bursting out of him at every turn? The world may never know, Johnny. The world may never know. And all that dumbass shit. All that hypocrite shit. And then of course you got a bunch of thirsty ass fucking sipping white knight and fucking guys all up in the comments, all up in the fucking DMs. And what do these bitches do? They want to make fucking a mockery of these guys. They want to make a mockery of them. They want to sit here and talk about, oh, well, I can't find the man. I can't find this. I can't find that. You got all sorts of motherfuckers up in your DMs. And what these bitches do is they want to fucking make fun of them. They want to mock them for just trying to step to them. For just trying to, you know, do what you, you know, like, you know, way back when, when, you know, a man was being a man. And, you know, come up to a woman and ask them, you know, what, what the fuck ever. But instead, you want to make a mockery of it. You want to sit here and you want to post, you want to take screenshots. And you want to post messages. Uh, you want to post the messages that, you know, guys send you or whatever. And you want to fucking sit here and mock them and say, oh, look at this. Look at this fucking idiot. Oh, look at this thirsty ass guy. Oh, look at this guy here. Look how dumb he looks trying to hit on me. What a fucking idiot. What's up guys, Moist Critical here. We are living in hell, my friends. And why are we living in hell, you might ask? Well, our boy Wrestling Otaku has the answer. Women in society. Man, society has gone downhill for real, dog. I mean, seriously. You can't just send unsolicited dick pics to girls anymore without them making fun of you. I mean, listen, bitch. When I send you a picture of my Harry Johnson, you better instantly fall in love with me. How dare you mock a man who said he wanted to rearrange your guts into balloon animals with his penis. He was just trying to be a nice guy, you fucking whore. Maybe learn to take a goddamn compliment for once in your life, slut. All he said was, I want to swap, I want you to swap my testicles like a cat so I can Baja blast you in the face with my jizz. I mean, come on, what's wrong with that? Yeah, that's my best, uh, moist critical impression. I hope you liked it. I don't understand. Those two things are not hypocritical at all. A woman can hate being hit on while also talking about she can't find a good man. These two things are in no way hypocritical. Do you know what the word hypocritical means? I'm not convinced you do. Well, actually, what I think he means is I'm a nice guy and women won't date me when I hit on them. So therefore, all women are stuck up bitches who are narcissistic. Unlike me, of course, the man saying all women are trashy, hypocritical sluts. What? How am I the sexist? I only said that all modern women are trash. How could I be the sexist? That's unfair. I'm being canceled. I'm being canceled. Everybody's showing the alarm. A canceling is taking place. I am being canceled on Twitter.com. Please help. I'm being canceled by the far left please is this acceptable behavior in this fucking society unfortunately it is because you motherfuckers enable that shit you douchebag sipping ass fucking thirsty white knight fucking dudes you're the ones who enable this shit you do you enable that shit and and the fact is and the fact is is that these women are are 
very much part of the problem. They are the problem. But the fact is that you guys, you fucking no talent, no balls having fucking guys. You no spine having just yellow, yellow backbone, spineless fucking dudes. You're as much a part of the problem as anything else because you enable these women to act like this. You enable that shit. You put them on a fucking pedestal and they act like they can do no wrong. They act like they can step on and stomp over whoever the fuck they want. And you allow that to happen. Oh, uh, jeez. Okay, I literally have no idea what he's talking about at this point. He's just bringing up all kinds of random situations that are barely connected. I find it hard to follow. If I had to guess, now this is just speculation because I don't know this guy personally or anything, but if I had to guess, this guy probably read a lot of self-help books that gave him advice on how to, uh, how to riz up a woman, as the kids would put it. Uh, when he realized those books were written by grifter idiots looking to make a quick buck and none of their advice is even remotely useful, they blame society instead of the asshole who taught them essentially how to emotionally manipulate people into thinking you're cooler than you actually are. I can see it. He was on Tinder trying to get some dates and he's been rejected and insulted because of his obviously childish and pathetic attempts to get into their pants. So now in this video, he's just venting his frustration into the internet where people don't take kindly to any opinion, let alone one that's blatantly fueled by bitterness and misdirected anger. That one line you said, when men used to be men, that's what gave it away for me. That's only ever said by people who have little to no understanding of human history or relationship dynamics. True, so true, so true. Which has made me give up on our Reddit moderator friend completely here. At this point, we're just looking for other crazy funny statements to make fun of. So, here you go. And all that kind of stuff. And it's, it's honestly, it, it's honestly ridiculous, man. It honestly is. And I've seen, and I honestly, honestly, I'm seeing this more and more. You know, especially on, you know, Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, wherever, especially on Snapchat, you see the shit. And it's like women, all they always do this shit, especially the more popular, well-known ones. Especially if they got a bit of a following, they let that shit go to their heads, and they fucking do shit like that. That fucking uh, Lindsay OK bitch, that, you know, the one that I met shit, the one that I put in the poll, you know, where you guys, you know, voted to see who, who I will bear. Ultimately, you voted for Pokemon, and she falls into that category, too, because she does that shit, too. But I see this Lindsay OK bitch on Twitter doing the exact same thing. It's like posting fucking DMs that guys send her and all that kind of shit. Just, you know, and, and just basically trying to clown the dude or clown whoever or, you know, make a mockery of it. And it's like, what the, f it's like, is this normal behavior? Uh, you know, on some level, I could understand this point of view. But at the same time, most of the time when women do that, it's from a guy who was being obviously creepy and had no game whatsoever. And his attempts at flirting were just embarrassing. Yeah, exactly. Every time I've seen that, it's from guys who were passive-aggressive assholes who got rejected and didn't take it well. It's almost always done for a laugh above everything else. Most of the time, they're not doxxed or anything. Obviously, doxing is pretty fucked up, but, but, but girls, you know, the, the reality of the situation is girls, especially attractive girls, get creepy messages like this all the damn time. I just find this complaint funny, because I guarantee you this is the same kind of motherfucker that would complain about, people are too sensitive nowadays. You can't tell a joke anymore without getting canceled. Yet here he is, getting offended by women making fun of his shitty flirting skills. It uh, leads more credence to me that this guy just got made fun of because he sucks at flirting and he's bitter about it. This, you know, I hate to say it, but this is definitely seems like the kind of guy to just send dick pics that nobody asked for. And the fact is, is that these women are, are very much part of the problem. They are the problem. But the fact is that you guys, you fucking no talent, no balls having fucking guys, you no spine having just yellow, yellow backbone, spineless fucking dudes. You're as much a part of the problem as anything else because you enable these women to act like this. Okay, uh, this whole line of reasoning confuses me. Like, what exactly do you expect these men to do? I mean, people as I understand them, people as I understand them, act the way they do, and very rarely can one person change that behavior, is it all? Because people are fucking stubborn at their core. The women are gonna act this way whether they have simps or not, so I think what you want is inherently unreasonable. And what exactly have these women done wrong? Now, having opinions you don't like? and posting selfies for attention, made fun of your creepy DM messages that weirded them out. 
Those are all things you mentioned. So I find your thesis full of holes and completely unsubstantiated. Please cite your sources. <laughs> sources? <laughs> Oh, Johnny. Oh, Johnny, you're you're funny, Johnny. The Taco Bell farts he released from his ass are the only sources he's got. This human boat anchor got all of his opinions from r slash incels and r slash gamers rise up. He has no fucking sources. Oh, you're funny. Oh, oh, you're funny. Just like I have done. I'm not gonna sit here and I'm not gonna let these fucking skanks I'm not gonna let these fucking bitches sit here and talk to me any kind of way and try and stand, you know, have, try to say whatever to me and act like, you know, they can just have their way with me, act like they can just step all over me and I'm just gonna be okay with that? Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Um, Karina? What? Do you think this man hates women? <laughs> what? Him? No. Are you kidding? I can't imagine why you would ever think this human equivalent of a Wendy's Baconator would hate women. What could have ever made you think that? I mean, come on. <laughs> Shit's gonna keep happening. And it's a fucking joke. It's an atrocity. It's an embarrassment. You are an embarrassment to the human race. You are an embarrassment to our gender. Fucking ridiculous, dude. Fucking ridiculous. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse to kowtow to anybody. I will never bow down. I will never submit, women. You hear me? You can't control me. You will receive my dick pics and be happy about it. I'm sick of all you women calling me a one-pump chump. I'm sick of all you damn bitches telling me my dick looks like a slice of apple pie from McDonald's. You will respect me, damn it. You will show some goddamn respect. The fact, And the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, you women, honestly, you need to be honestly, legitimately, this is real talk here, you need to get down on your hands and your knees and you need to be kissing my fucking ass. That's what you need to be doing. You need to get down on your hands and knees and you need to be kissing my feet. You need to be worshiping the fucking ground that I walk on. I think this guy is trolling. Is this guy trolling? This dude has to be trolling, because what the absolute fuck was that? Yeah, um, hmm. Yeah, I see how you can believe that. But honestly, I don't think he is. I think he's dead serious. Interesting, um, how so? He did something similar to that in this relationship requirements video. He said he wanted her to call him master, in case you're not aware, because, because of course he would. Um, he also said in another video that he was just joking and just messing around and just there to trigger the internet. But, but here's the thing. He only said that in a video one year after posting the infamous dating standards video. And plus everything he is saying here is 100% accurate to other guys I've heard before. Literally every incel ever talks like this, word for word, down to the detail. That's a good point. You know, if he was really joking, he'd try a little harder to wean on that. He was joking, but he hasn't done that really. My impression is that he genuinely believes everything he says. Exactly! If he was just doing it for comedy, he's doing a really bad job because he sounds way too genuine. A again, incel red pillars and pickup artists sound like this. They all sound like this. Anger and everything. His inflection sounds bitter and angry. I, I pointed that out several times, but yeah, he sounds dead serious. And they'll throw these labels out there like, oh, you're an incel, you're a virgin, you're this, you're that. First off, I know what the definition of incel means. Obviously, I know what the definition of a virgin means, and I'm neither. I'm neither. I have pulled plenty of tail in my lifetime. Bullshit! <laughs> yeah, bro. Sorry, man. I'm gonna have to press X to doubt on that one. I doubt that because if you ever actually had sex, you would understand that there are women that aren't like the ones you describe, and your little rant here would make no sense at all. Nobody I know who's ever had a girlfriend would ever express stupid ass shit like this. If you've 
if you've ever been in a relationship, if you have ever been in a relationship, well then it clearly wasn't very deep. Because if you ever like really loved another human being before, these would never be the kind of things you would complain about. The only specific things you could bring up were selfies, women shaming DMs of dudes you hit on them, and feminism a bit. None of these things affect regular people who aren't perpetually online like yourself. The fact that that's all you can bring up is really telling how much you understand about women, which is nothing. Nothing, pretty much. Look, okay, look. Some genuine advice for anybody who thinks like this guy. Go the fuck outside. <clears throat> I, I'm serious. Go the fuck outside. Make a real effort to interact with the real world. Social media is poisonous brain rot engineered to keep you addicted. It's a place of algorithms that place you into the perfect box so you can have your deepest insecurities and hatreds validated to you. It's made to make money off of you. You're just another pair of eyes for more advertisements, and anything they could do to keep your face glued to the screen, they will do. No matter the long-term damage and political shit-flinging it leads to. You want to know why you can't find good women? It's because you aren't looking in the first place. Let me tell you. It's from my own personal experience, but let me tell you. The love of your life won't come from a dating website. The love of your life will only be there if you put in the effort to look. It's easy to sit on your high horse and look down on everyone else to make yourself feel better. It's piss easy to shit on society and blame it every time that everything doesn't go your way. Everyone does it. Literally everyone does it. What you're saying and doing, what you're saying and doing isn't special in the slightest. Everything in this video, that's what cracks me up about this video. Everything you have said in this video before has been said a thousand times by many people smarter and dumber than yourself. Nobody wants to stop you. They're just pointing out the obvious that you're a bitter, angry man who holds a grudge against an entire group of people because they didn't, because you didn't get your way in life. Don't tell other people they should grow up when you refuse to grow up yourself. Don't tell other people they need to be better when you've done no self-improvement of your own. Stop throwing stones in your glass house. Maybe instead, step outside that glass house and cast a few stones down the river. Maybe then you'll realize you didn't know as much as you thought you did. Maybe then you'll realize you were swimming in the kiddie pond the whole time. That was, um, quite eloquent, Farina. I agree. Thanks, Johnny. And thank you, my lovely family. Yeah, a bit of an easy target, I know, but it was a fun- it was- it was actually really fun ripping this guy apart. It really was. This guy is- whoo, he's something. Oh, man. I wish all of you the best, and hopefully I'll be able to make consistent content again. I'm trying. Trust me, I am. Trust me, I'm trying. I'm Karina McDaniels. I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Salutations, fellow demon brethren. Have a spectacular day.